Hello! I am not there at school right now. I was in the morning. I'm not there anymore. So I'm going to go over some of the things that I wanted to go over in this class. Make sure you guys remember that. Um, mostly this is where my fifth and sixth period class. But for everyone else who wants to go back and just double check and make sure they're doing things correctly. So today, if you had me, then you don't really need to worry about this video. If you didn't, um, here it is. If you want to go back and review, here it is as well. So today I wanted to finish up the Africa Around the Room that we started yesterday. So making sure we get that stuff done. Um, hopefully you were able to click on this link and you can see that all my stuff is there for you. So if you had a couple of the uh, kingdoms to do, here they are. So if you needed to go back through them, just go ahead and read through them. Get the information you need so you have it for uh, next week when we start the project when I am back. So that's how you get that part. Now, I also want you guys to do the timeline. To do the timeline, you need this map to kind of work on it. You're going to look at this side here. So um, let me have screen for you guys and show you kind of what I mean. So I have the gallery here is the timeline, the paper that you guys have. So the first page is the timeline. So here it is. What you're going to be doing is basically creating a timeline for me. Well, here is all the list of the times from. So you only have to do the ones we talked about. So you don't have to worry about ancient Egypt. You don't have to worry about Nubia. First one, a skoom. All right. So we're going to sit there. And now you're going to actually write it on your piece of paper. But you see it says 100 BC. So this is year zero. That means everything over here is BC. Everything here is a D. All right. So now I know. Okay. You can see it's a little big, so I'm going to knock it down a little bit. So around 600, or no, 100 BC is when the skoom came around. So for me, I'm going to probably go right there, about 100 years. And then I'm going to write the name. Sorry for my spelling. I'm doing this on my mouse. My I don't have my touch thing working. So the next one is uh, a Ghana. You see 600. So now I'm going to come over to here. Now I have Ghana, Mali, Songhai, and Benin all to do. So that's one, two, three, four. Now don't forget about Great Zimbabwe here, and I'll kind of show you how to do that here in a minute. So you have all those to put on this side. So give yourself some room. So 600, I don't know, kind of go here. And then so on. That's what you're going to be doing. So you're just going to create the line of when they start it. All right, so you're looking at that first line up here. So the skum about 100 BC, Ghana about 600, about 950, about 1000 AD, and then Benin at 1275. Now for the Great Zimbabwe, they don't really have one all right here. So what you're going to do is you got to scroll all the way down to Great Zimbabwe. So we go down. Here it is, and you see that Great Zimbabwe. You look at the dates that they have in here. Now they don't give you a, quite a big date, but they do say in the mid-1200s. Okay, so you see the mid 1200s. Okay, this is when they kind of reached their height, and this is the date that they're going to give us. So that's the date we're going to use. So we go back up to the top, and we see that the dates we're going to use. So I'll zoom in a little bit more. It's in the mid 1200s, so it's going to be right next to Benin. So you're actually going to have something that's going to be kind of like right there. So one's going to be Great Zimbabwe, the other's going to be Benin. If you want to write one on the top and bottom, so you got Benin here. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, let's try that again. So Benin. And then Great Zimbabwe, if you wanted to kind of do something like that, where there's one above and one below, that's fine. Um, just make sure they put it in order. So if these are in order, then Great Zimbabwe is in between here. So it's right kind of in that middle there around the mid 12th century. So about 1200 to 1250. All right. So that's how you're going to do the timeline. So that takes care of that. So let's go ahead and start looking at what we're, else we're going to do. We are going to be doing this thing of uh, the rise of Islam. So you have the worksheet. This is just the rise and spread, so going into how Islam came into the African kingdom. So you see the uh, questions are all right here. Here is the reading where you'll find the answers, and they are generally in order. So as you read here, okay, the first one, Islam means to surrender. That's the first question. What does Islam mean? So it's right there for you. All right, so it goes in a little bit about Islam, and then it's going to talk about how the Islamic faith got into um, Timbuktu and got into the African kingdoms and spread wildly and basically created the second biggest real religion in the world. So make sure you guys read through here, okay? It has all the answers relatively in order. There might be one or two that are out of order, but generally uh, one, two, three, four, they are going to be following in order, all right? So just read the document here. I do have some paper copies available, but I'd rather you guys do it online. So you can do it there and then turn it in here to the rise of Islam. 
All right, so that's what you're going to be doing today. First thing is first is getting the Africa around the room completed. So download that. Okay, um, then you have the timeline to make sure you get that timeline done and completed. Remember, you're going to hold on to that so that you're ready to go for next week when we start the project. And then you're going to complete the Islam worksheet. All right, so the rise of Islam. So make sure you get that done. Turn into me today. Um, and that's all you're working you to do. If you have any questions, you can always email me. I don't know if I'll be able to get a hold of you right away, but I'll try my best to go get my emails when I can. All right, have a good one.